Okay, so we're going to practice solving a bunch of vector problems. So uh, here's this first one. Pedestrian moves 6 kilometers east and 13 kilometers north. So we want the magnitude of the resultant displacement. So what you have to do before you do anything, right, obviously most important with vectors is you need to draw it out. So here's 6 kilometers east. And then I'm going to go 13 north. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. So about like that. And then my resultant, right, it helps to draw your resultant like in a different color or a darker line or something. There's my resultant, right, so this is R. And I want to know what R is, right? Okay, so if I have both of these sides, solving for R is just using the Pythagorean theorem, right? So R is going to be the square root of A squared plus B squared, right, because A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if I plug in then that gives me 6 squared plus 13 squared, right? So if I do 6 squared and 13 squared, that's 36 plus 169. And so if you do that, it comes out to 14.32 kilometers. So R is 14.32 kilometers, okay? That wasn't too bad. So now I'm throwing this in there. I want to solve for the angle, right? Let's say I don't know the angle. How could we figure that out? Okay, well we know, right, if I don't know the angle, let's go to our trig function. So I'm going to use tangent, because tangent's opposite over adjacent, right? So this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side. So tangent of an angle equals the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, right? Okay, if I don't know the angle, I can use inverse trig functions, right? So on your calculator, you've got, let me move this up. You've got sine, cosine, tangent, but above it, there's sine minus one, cosine minus one, tangent minus one. That's your inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent. So what that does, if you take the inverse tangent and you switch these two things, so I switch the ratio with the angle, take the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent, and it'll give me the angle. See how all I did was switch. Tangent of an angle gives me a ratio. Inverse tangent of a ratio gives me an angle. And now I can plug in what I know, right? So I take the inverse tangent or arc tangent of 13 is my opposite, 6 is my adjacent. That'll give me my angle. And so the way to do that on your calculator is, let me see if I can put this right. So you want to do 13 over 6 first, and then I'm going to take the inverse tangent by going second tangent of that answer. And that gives me 65.22 degrees. So equals 65.22 degrees. That's this angle, 65.22. Okay, here's the next problem. Tammy leaves the office, drives 26 kilometers north, turns on a second highway, continues 30 degrees north of east for 62 kilometers. What's the total displacement from the office? Okay, so again, start by drawing it out. So I'm going to do down here, I'll go... 26 north, so I don't know, maybe draw it that far. So we'll call that my 26 kilometer north vector, and then I'm going to go 62 kilometers, 30 degrees north of east. So if that's east, this would be 30 degrees north of east, right? So it's going to go 62. So maybe like that, right? I want to draw it kind of the right magnitude. Okay, so this is 62 kilometers, right, and 26 kilometers. So my resultant, I'm going to draw my resultant start to finish. Right, there's my resultant. Okay, so now I want to figure out how big R is. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to figure out, if I want to know R, I want to solve for how much r is in the x dimension and how much r is in the y dimension and then i can use the pythagorean to solve pythagorean theorem to solve for r right so when you're starting it makes it easy to do it in little pieces right so i'm going to do my x's here and my y's here and i'm going to call this vector 1 and i'm going to call this vector 2 so here's vector 1 here's vector 2 okay so let's do one one is easy there's nothing in the x dimension, right? So vector 1 has 0 in the x, and it's got 26 in the y. Boom, done. Okay, vector 2. 
I need to break this 62 up into how much goes this way and how much goes that way, right? So this one, here's my angle. This side is going to be 62 cosine 30, and this side over here is going to be 62 sine 30, okay? And so when you do this, 62 cosine 30 comes out to 53.74, and 62 sine 30 comes out to 31. So that means my x for number 2, it's going to be 53.74. And my y for number 2 is also going to be 31. They're both pointing up, so I'll keep them the same side. And then all I do is add them up. So 26 plus 31 is 57. And 53.74 plus 0 is 53.74. So this is the dimensions for r. All right, so now r is 57 in the y and 53.74 in the x. So I can do r is square root of a squared plus b squared, so 53.74 squared plus 57 squared, square root that, and if you do this in your calculator, you get 78.31 kilometers, right? So that's how long r is. r is, let me do it in red, 78.31 kilometers. Okay, again, I want to solve for theta. What's that angle from the x-axis? Okay, so same thing as before. I'm going to use my tangent function. So tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So that means arctangent of opposite over adjacent equals theta. So my arctangent of 57 over 53.74 should equal theta. And if I do that in the calculator, you get 43.3, 30 degrees, same thing. All right, so this angle is 43.30 degrees. There we go, got the magnitude and the direction. It just took a little bit of work because I had to break this one down, but it's so much easier if you break it into X and Y components and then just add the components to get your result. Okay, here's my third problem. Finding a buried treasure, I'm going to go 75 paces at 240, turn to 135 degrees, walk 125 paces, and then I'm going to go 100 paces at 160 degrees. I want to find the magnitude and direction. Right? So first, before I start getting into this, let me draw it. Always got to draw your vectors first. Okay, so here's what I've got here. 75 at 240 degrees, right? So 240 degrees is going to be down here right before 270, right? Because 270 would be at the bottom of the third quadrant. So that's 240 degrees. So that makes this angle right here 30 degrees. All right, this angle here is 30 because 270 minus 240 is 30. Okay, all right, next one. This angle here was 135. So this one was 240, this one is 135, right? So here's 90, so that means 135 is going to be here. And so if you look at this angle here, if 180 is over here, 180 minus 135 gives you 45. So this is a 45 degree angle right there. And then my third one, this is 160 degrees. So if 180 degrees is all the way like that, that means this angle here is 20 degrees. Because I'm going to need those to get these components here in a second, right? So now I've got it drawn out, right? Looks good. Now I need to go do my components. So let's do that. Okay, so here's my components, right? And I need to go fill these in now with like how to calculate them. Okay, so all I have to do is look at where I marked the angles because the ones touching the angles are cosine, right? So here, this is 30. So that means this one is 75 cosine 30. And this one is opposite, so this one is 75 sine 30. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that for all the other ones. Okay, so I've calculated for all of them, 75 cosine 30 is 64.95. 75 sine 30 is 37.5. So I have what all my components are, right? So now let's go add all of them up. So 
So what I've done, my X's were easy, right? Because all of these are going this way, so I didn't have to change any signs. So it's just 37.5 plus 88.38 plus 93.97, right? My three X components add up to give me 219.77. So my resultant, right, from start to finish looks like this, right? I'm going to try to draw it thicker so it looks like a resultant, right? That's my resultant. My resultant goes 219.77 that way. Right, so that's 219.77. Okay, in the y direction, I had to subtract this one pointing down because my other two point up. So 88.38 goes up and 34.20 goes up, but I had to subtract the 64.95. When I do that, I get 57.55 up. So this is 57.55 up. And so Again, now I'm done, right? Once I got this, I can do Pythagorean theorem. So r is equal to the square root of 57.55 squared plus 219.77 squared, right? Because Pythagorean theorem, and if you do this, it gives you 227.18. So that's how long r is, okay? And so again, if I want the angle, the angle is the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent, right? I'm just using that. So the angle from, I'm going to pick this angle, right? Because once you know one angle, like you can subtract or add 90s and figure the rest of them out. So it's going to be the inverse tangent of, uh, opposite is going to be 219.77 over 57.55. And if you do that, you get 70. 5.3 degrees. So this angle here is 75.3 degrees, right? So again, adding vectors, it's tedious, yes, but hard, not really. You break each individual vector down into x and y pieces and then just add up their components. And then when you need to put them back together, you do Pythagorean theorem.